In this video, we're going to take a look at creating designs using our knowledge from the last section where we talked about the Cartesian plane, coordinates of points, and the coordinate plane. To start off, we're going to review finding the coordinates of vertices. So here's a Cartesian plane or a coordinate grid, and I'm here's a shape that we see on here with some points and some lines, and I'm going to be asked to label each vertex of the shape. And if you remember from previous math, a vertex is just a corner, a point of a shape. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to label this point A. And I'm going to write over here, I'm going to write A, and then I'm going to put its coordinates in the parentheses or the brackets here. And if I take a quick look here, I'll see that it is 1, 2, 3. 3 to the left of the origin, so that's going to be a negative 3. And then if I go up, 1, 2, 3, positive 3 for the y part of that coordinate. Let's repeat this for the three other points. I'm going to call this one B. And B's coordinates, you'll notice, are 1 to the right of the origin. So that's going to be positive 1 for my X coordinate. And again, I'm 1, 2, 3, up. This one, let's call this one C. C is 1, 2, 3 to the right of the origin. And it goes down 1 below the origin. So we can say that is a negative one for the y part of the coordinate. And last but not least, let's call this point here D. And for D, if we take a quick look at it, we're going negative one for our x value and also negative one for our y value because we're just going down one. And there we have it. Now we've labeled each vertex of this shape and we've completed this question. Here we're going to be asked to draw flags. So we're actually going to draw a flag using our knowledge about coordinates and points. And we're actually going to draw the Bahamas flag on the coordinate grid. So here's our coordinate grid. Here's what the Bahamas flag looks like. So I'm going to start by, we'll use green here. And I went ahead and I figured out what the points would be. And you could do this yourself as well, but I'm going to walk you through the process. So one of our points here is going to be negative 5, comma 3. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative on our x-axis. I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to put a dot here. The next coordinate is going to be 5, comma, negative 3. So almost the exact same thing, except we're going to be going down 3. So that's going to end up right over here. Our next point, point is going to be 2, comma, 3. So I'm going to go over 2, up 3. I'm going to end up right here. And we're going to have 2 comma negative 3. If you notice right here, this is just a big rectangle. This is going to end up being the shape of our flag, the, out, the outer edge of the flag. Now let's add this point here, negative 2 comma 0. So negative 2 comma 0 is going to end up right here. Okay, and now let's add negative 3 comma 1. So I'm going to go negative 3 up one, that point's gonna end up right here. Our next point here is negative three comma negative one. It's gonna be negative three and down one. And our last two points here, we've got two comma one. I got two comma one. So two in the x direction and one in the y direction. And my last point here is two comma negative one. I go two from two on the positive of the x-axis, and down one negative on our y-axis. And if I connect these points in the way that will make this flag, you will see that I was able to make the shape of this flag pretty quickly and pretty easily. Now, my drawing here is not perfect. I don't have a ruler that I can use on my computer. But what if you took some extra time, it should end up looking something like this when all is said and done. Now the key ideas for our whole section here are as follows. To draw a design on a coordinate Cartesian plane, first thing first, you want to plot your vertices of your design. First things first. Then you're going to name the coordinates of your design. And I actually didn't do that in my last example. And I recommend you going back and adding some labels to those points. So that's an A, a B, a C, whatever variables you want to use. And then you connect the vertices of your design so that it makes your design the way that you want it. And then you can color it or shade it in if you need to. Hopefully now we have a deeper understanding of how we can use coordinates and Cartesian planes 
to create designs.